Amboy, the guest. Amboy, Even our guest is name. saying that she's a very lucky person. Yes. <laughs> Hope Amboy, you Amboy enjoy the coffee mm. uh. and the interview. <laughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> All right, there you go. We do hope that you'll go down to Artisan Coffee. Right now, talking about leadership, we've been talking about, you know, being a team player, being a great intern, having fantastic positive attitude. Yep. Right again, we're going into being future leaders in a camp. Yes. And how do you become future leaders? Let's welcome our guest. Uh, we would like to welcome uh, Sharifa Bahia Said Ahmad, who is the Dean of the School of Humanities and Social Sciences from U Nila University. All right. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Yes. Now, uh, when, right before we uh, start with the conversation, yes. we do have actually a call out coming our way, yes. which is from uh, mm -hmm. Hani Hamdan. She's mm -hmm. all the way in Cambodia. Yes. Okay. Uh, Hani is actually one of the staff of. Um, uh, RTM and she is there in Cambodia to actually cover uh, to, to also tell us how the uh, Hari Raya yeah. Haji is going to is, is done over. Okay, uh, so that's just just a snippet of you know what's happening there, that's which right. is really good. Yeah, yeah. good report. All right, there. so jumping back into uh, the topic that we have mm -hmm. at hand, which is on Future Leaders Camp uh, 2012. Let's again uh, welcome yes. our guest. Yes, Sharifa Bahia, who is the Dean of uh, School of Humanities and Social Sciences of Unila University. Good morning and welcome good morning. once again. Thank uh, you so for inviting me. Yes, our pleasure. It's our pleasure. <laughs> so maybe you could start off with telling us what this. Uh, uh, future Leaders Camp is all about and who is it actually for? Okay, uh, it actually started in 2009 mm. and when we started it, there was no event for leaders or student leaders from private institutions. So we started it then catering to private institutions but then there were some people who wanted to, from pri public institutions, they wanted to join in. Mm -hmm. So in 2010, we, we decided to open it up to them. Mm. So it's student leaders, it's meant for student leaders and it is also uh, meant we also reserve about 30 percent for international students who are attending malaysian mm -hmm. institutions of higher education all right now this is the fourth time this yes. is being held yeah. uh could you just tell us like maybe just recap uh the first three times uh, what was covered and then for this one what's yeah. different from the third, three other times okay the first one we had cultural re relations all right. mm. the second one we decided to do a theme on gender issues uh -huh. which that was very interesting i thought <laughs> And last year, because of this need to focus on uh, going beyond themselves, right. you know, like the one that you are having in Cambodia just now, that yeah. reported That's from right. Cambodia. So we wanted them to focus on volunteerism, what they can do beyond themselves. This year, we decided to go back to cultural relations mm -hmm. because I think it is important yes. given the situation that the world right now is getting smaller mm -hmm. and uh, especially our institutions are now populated not just with Malaysians but also international students from all over the world mm. so friction tends that's true to happen mm. so we hope that uh, having a module such as this mm. having an event such as this will provide a lubricant help in understanding uh, help them in understanding the delights the mm. puzzles the irritations that could happen <laughs> when you mix two from a different culture i like i mm. like the fact that you said delights puzzles and irritation Correct, together yeah. mm. but that's pretty much it isn't it yes, because you've yes, got yes. various personalities coming together Correct, people of different yeah. ethnicities coming together yeah. and and your theme is leading in solidarity Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so that's so apt very yes, apt. Yeah. yes so how many um universities are actually taking part in this we open to all institutions mm -hmm. uh, in malaysia mm -hmm. Currently, we have about nearly 30 institutions mm -hmm. okay. on uh, who, who students from these institutions have already applied. All from higher learning? All from higher learning. Okay. We target mostly the undergraduate students. I see. Yeah. Uh, all pri a mix of private and public. public correct, right? yeah. it's and it's good to have them together. Yeah. Because mm. mindset, you know, the, the people from public universities, mm -hmm. when they interact with the people from private in sure. universities, mm -hmm. they tend to share experience, mm -hmm. yep. you know. So it's, it's good for them to get mm. to know uh, the experiences in other places, you know, you, yeah. you go beyond yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So what would happen to, uh, between the 3rd to the 5th of November? What sort of activities are they going to have? Okay. We have, of course, the traditional speeches. Mm. Our speakers, uh, our keynote speaker is Yang Amat Mulia Tengku Ali Ridaudin. Mm. He's the Tengku Bursa Sri Menanti of mm. Negeri Milan. And we also have a few academicians. We have uh, Professor Jayum from mm. University Putra Malaysia. We have somebody from the National University of Singapore, mm -hmm. right. Said Farid al mm. He's the head of the Malay Studies Department in All the US. Big, big names. <laughs> yes. And uh, we are also lucky to have um, 
an imam from the United States, wow. Imam Bashar Arafat. He's the president of the Civilizations Exchange and Cooperation Foundation. He was actually a U.S. embassy speaker. Mm -hmm. He came here a few times. Mm -hmm. We invited him and he was gracious enough to attend. Besides this, we have Dale Carnegie trainers mm. coming in. And we have Image Consultant, right. Chapter 1 Asia, Wendy Lee. She will be also training the students. All right. Um, uh, Juan, I just need to ask you this. I, it's amazing that you've gathered all these uh, lead, lead, future leaders to come together. Yeah. And, okay. and, you know, you've having created all, this. Yes, I know, having a uh, stellar cast of I know, stellar cast uh, of speakers <laughs> of coming trainers, in as well. Yeah. Um, but one thing I need to ask, would you... When we talk about leadership, as we mentioned in previous, mm -hmm. you know, two other okay. previous segments, um, it's it's basically from inside here. Correct. It's basically yeah. who you are and what you project to another person. Uh, again, during throughout, uh, sorry, throughout the camps uh, or rather this event, would you be highlighting anything to do with workshops or on the ground stuff where they get down and dirty and they literally apply? what they are what they're doing here mm. instead of just sitting down listening to yep. you know stellar okay. speakers yeah, yeah. will there be practical training yeah is that is there exactly something? i think that's what makes us different mm -hmm. is uh -huh. the interactive nature okay. mm. after speeches they will have to mull over they have to discuss mm -hmm. and they have especially the cultural intercultural relations they talk to each other mm -hmm. we make sure that each group is very much diverse mm. yes. in terms of their backgrounds mm -hmm. yeah. so we as i said we have 30 percent international students yeah. and then the other 70 percent would be from private and public institutions mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the interactive nature of the program where they discuss where they present to each other and one of our highlights is something called the parliament parliamentary discussion mm -hmm. oh. where they talk about we have a mock bill mm -hmm. on intercultural relations mm -hmm. and they talk about they discuss which one they want to accept which one they want to reject mm -hmm. and present it and try to influence each other ah. on going to their side you wow. know so it was it's very very um that has i think differentiate differentiated us from another top-down approach where conferences yes, right. you go to speeches listen, you listen yeah. and then listen, it's just listen, listen. And then so it's very interactive yeah. Yeah, you students enjoy the, enjoy, breaks and the yeah. coffee breaks and if only yeah. this camp exists when we were studying I huh? know. yeah I wish yeah, <laughs> it existed for it me. wasn't ever yeah. there I really yeah. like the part where they say this camp will enable you to sharpen your leadership skills mm. further develop your potential and I really like this initiate a global network yeah correct. That's, that's yeah. You, get, you get to interact with international students yeah correct. that's where we good. need to go um, what were your challenges in the previous camps uh, mm. that you you've literally taken in as lessons and you know sort of applied that to yeah. the side I think we have been very lucky we have had the support from the Ministry of Higher Education in particular the Bahagian Hal Ewal Pelajar mm. and we also have the support of World Youth Foundation mm -hmm. and based on our discussions with them okay, we, we designed the program mm -hmm. to suit this but in addition to that our first year mm. we had quite a few things that we had to tackle All right. mm. especially in terms because it was not a well-known camp at that point of time ah, okay. so we literally had to call so people to we know you know and try to contact yeah. and that's one of the lessons we pass over to the students right network yes. is everything that's right that's if you right. do not have the network nothing can work yeah. you know that's true yeah. that's right and, and i suppose um have you in your opinion Juan, uh, over the years have you seen a difference uh in the students who have attended these camps I think for Nilai, I uh -huh. cannot say for others, uh, other institutions, for Nilai, we started of, um, you know, traditional British-based program. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. So right now we have so many things that we are offering and I think part of the uh, reason, okay, one of the reasons for that is that we have trained these students mm -hmm. to be more active to open up their eyes that they cannot be inward looking mm -hmm. so we have had volunteerism mm. uh, activities we have had uh, intercultural festivals where the students themselves mm -hmm. are organizing cultural festivals for secondary school students so it's a passed uh, down yes, it's no yes. longer limited to them yep, yep. it passed down to their juniors you know so really? for nila itself the the environment there has become more lively since then that's mm. what I believe, yeah. Oh. Mm. Right, so this is happening between the 3rd to the 5th of November mm -hmm. at Nilai Springs Resort Hotel at Putra Nilai in the Gris Milan. Uh, so three power-packed days set in a lush resort-style <laughs> of setting. 
Absolutely. With, with Stella, Stella speakers. Yes, exactly. And of course, uh, you know, you've got interaction with a whole lot of uh, people from overseas yeah. and local yeah. colleges and universities. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's going to be a really interesting camp that's this, coming yeah. together. One thing, yeah. uh, the students are lucky devils now. I know. <laughs> yeah. God, if only we had this opportunity. Yes, we'd we'd like to thank it. you once yeah. again, Pon Sharif Abaya. I, th I think you need to organize something for people. Yeah, yeah, why <laughs> Maybe not? we can yeah. come as observers. Sure, sure. Yeah. Yay. 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 Any point of time. Just let me know. Well, Pon Sharif Thank you so thank much you. for yes. joining us this uh, morning. And before we move on to the next uh, segment, we actually, uh, like we have mentioned earlier, we're talking about the Malaysia Working Mothers Forum or the WM WM W O M W M F ah Malaysia Working Mothers Forum contest. <laughs> so we are giving out two tickets for this charity yep. uh, high tea, which is happening really soon. That's right. And the question is really simple. Your answers are up on the screen. Exactly. Name uh, the celebrity who mm. will be appearing at this MWMF uh, uh, charity high tea. Working Mothers Forum contest. <laughs> Let me just make it easy for you. Working Mothers Foreign Forum. Malaysia Working Mothers Forum. That's right. Yeah. So there you go. The question is, who is that very famous celebrity who's going to be the speaker there? The the answer was right up on the yeah. screen. So Malaysia, yeah. give us a call. 22829062. Two two eight two three zero four three. Yep. Each winner, if you if you get the name correct, you get two, two tickets, tickets, right? So uh, we won't be able to uh, we we won't be taking the call on air, but someone will be uh, at the end of the line uh, taking a call. That's right. And taking your details. So okay. Give us now a call later we on, have yeah? the next segment coming in, which is really interesting. We are talking about violence against women. We are talking about raising awareness, but at the same time, we do have a chef in the studio who's so going to show you a lovely way of icing cupcakes. Yes. So we'll be right back really soon. Don't go away.